the ready. So let's continue onward. So we've been up here right now. Let's see. What can we find here? Some dragon egg mushrooms. Some balsam. Okay. Like, there's a lot of height here as well. Huh. This game is awesome. Let's see. We have not looked at this place, so let's just teleport to the end of this row quickly. Let's see if we can actually go somewhere here. Probably not the best place to jump off. But that might just be the edge of the map. Looks like it. Doesn't look like anything's going there. So, okay. Yeah, we'll just go the other way. Alright, so save the refugees. Kaga wants us to make the tieflings leave. She fears the grove cannot support both of them and itself. Find your belongings. We learned that the leader of the thieves guild is mold. She might have our belongings. And investigate. Uh, Donnie disappeared somewhere. We need to find another way to get more. Maybe Donnie will be back eventually. Okay. Alright, so we need to find the night song. Let's see. Roadside cliffs. That's a. These are teleportation points. Find Mole, Emerald Grove, return to Zavalor. Alright, so. Let's just hike a little further right now. Wait. Let's just do that first. Okay, they fell they down. Stop the bleeding brain. People up ahead. Something's wrong. Press the wound. Not like that. You're a true soul. You can't die. Please, stay with us. I, I don't think he's conscious. C can you hear us, Ed? You, not a step closer. A strange symbol glows marked on their flesh. And something within you stirs in response. Okay. Um, well, I do not really want to use the Illithid's power, so I'm gonna just... His wounds look deep. I might be able to help. Uh, let's get some guidance here. I have no clue. His wounds are deep, man. I'm gonna roll again for that. Brother, your sword. Wait. The injured man locks eyes with you. A familiar squirming churns in your head. Hold his stare. Your minds intertwine. You see his siblings, Andrik and Brenner. New recruits. Yours to shepherd. Pretty Protect sure they're not mine to shepherd. He is a true soul. Mind him. He will. He. He. Edwin. Ed. Please. He's with the absolute now. You're. You're a true soul. Edwin, our brother. He was chosen. Like you. Do you have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. Like what? What is this true soul thing? Yeah, let's see. Do I want to actually use them? By I, I do want to know where this Helsen guy is, but I don't... A true soul what? question. Are you... Are you testing us? A true soul like you has been chosen by the absolute you speak with her voice your words are her command she grants you the power to enforce her will and when the time comes the true souls you will rule please 
Any supposed new god would have an uphill battle. Alright, so... Perhaps you can recruit some of one. Perhaps you can help me. I'm looking for the druid house. I don't know any druids. Well, it was a long shot. What happened to your brother we exactly? We were looking for fugitives. Survivors from that ship that crashed farther west of here. But instead of them, Edwin found an oil bear. An angry one. We managed to drag him away, but the beast's claws had already done their work. I told Edwin not to look in that cave. It was filthy with oil bear tracks. All right. These fugitives, tell me more. I don't know what they look like, but anyone who survived that crash is bound to be injured. That's enough to get us started. The what absolute wants them found. At any cost. I'm a survivor of that crash. Looks like you found you. me. Uh, Brenna, kill him! Wait. Wait. What? What? I'm a survivor. So wait, the true souls... N I'm confused. I'm actually confused right now. I'm just gonna... Let's see. Novels of the Absolute. So now they, they do want to kill me. On the move. Well... I can't have that, so sorry. Bonk. I'm gonna end his turn. You know what? Let's see. We'll just chug a fire. No, wait. Uh, Lord Gunnar is up as well. I'm just gonna, you know, give you a nice little whack. I'm not gonna divine smite this. No. There we go. And Gale, how about you shoot a fireball in this poor Brenna? There you go. Now she's dead. That's good. All right. Oh, now it's Shadowheart's turn as well. Shadowhearts. Do you maybe want to chug a fireball at this guy? No. He has high defense. Wait, what? I'll just. Let's see, let's see. No, that's not good. You know what? I'll just shoot an arrow at him. Why not? Actually worked. Good. I don't turn. Alright, so he threw acid at them. And I think that is lowering their AC by two. That's actually not that bad. Make way. Um, I'm gonna do a disarming strike and miss with that. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna end her turn there. Alright, so now everyone's missing, that's not really that cool. How about you just hit him? Also miss. Like this dude is like in the Matrix, man. Shoot you down. Critically miss. Okay. Now, do I need to... Damn, son. Like, chill out a bit. Oh, my God. All right. So, I'm going to do a bonk. Now, he's dazed. Let's see. What does dazed do again? He has disadvantage on wisdom saving throws. Can't take reaction. Loses dexterity bonus to their armor class. So, his AC is lowered. Like, this dude's had some nice armor. Okay. Uh, and her turn. You know what? Just fireball. Wait. Why do I need to... Why was that like a melee fireball? It's so dumb. Nothing will stand in my way. I'm gonna define smite you. Just die. Before you take out a lot more HP. Oh my god. That's some great armor right there. 
Gain a plus one to strength, saving throws, and checks. Disadvantage stealth, yeah, alright. Dude. Thank you. I'm gonna take the longsword with me. Uh, let's see. So my AC is 19 and it was 18. So that's actually quite nice chainmail we got there. Let's open the party tab. Lysel. You can have this one. Yeah, there you go. So now you have a plus one bonus to strength saving throws and checks. And then this is medium armor get the Yankee plate. So this will give you, I think, an upgrade as well. And you, of course, don't wear any armor. So that's good. That was actually quite rough. What lies within? Uh -huh. Let's just add that the wares, add that the wares. At least things have stayed interesting. And a win. Strange power oh. resonates within the corpse. It calls to you. All right. Your limbs move of their own accord. There's something of value, something your mind craves. Oh, damn. Why let its host's memories go to waste? The tadpole has absorbed it all. Its experience could nourish you, strengthen you. Strength. The tadpole is toying with you. Resist it. Fuck that shit. I do not want the tadpole. Can I get like a double? No, I can't get a double uh, guidance. I'm not gonna go for a hill. Giant strength check. No, Illithid is using my mind. Loosen. The tadpole breaks free of its deceased host. Your mind is your own again. For now. All right. Not gonna lie, that was pretty rough. All right, find a cure. Let's see, the journal is updated. Well. All right, so find a cure. Find a way to remove the Mind Flayer Parasite. We met some cultists who worship a deity called the Absolute. One of them could telepathically communicate with us, which means they were infected too. All right, so so this Absolute looks like My it has some... It's like different from from like the, the tadpole Might stuff. Be because I, I seriously thought they were like trying to save them. But it was not the case. Let's grab all this. Um, ooh, a scrap wood shield. I think we just add that to wares. Something I'm good here. looting everything that we come across. So we can also maybe make some potions as well. Alright, but I like the fact that our AC went up by one. So now we have a 19 armor class, which is pretty decent, I think. Uh, let's see. We need to go there for... What's this for? Yeah, the Karlek. Uh, so I want that. Gifted artisans. I am sworn to say no more. Let's just cross... Travel across this bridge. Some shiny forks. Thank you. This is worth a lot of gold. Tell me, Lazel, what is it like on the astral plane? Your home realm intrigues me. Githyanki lay their eggs on other planes. They cannot mature in the astral. I will only be welcomed once I obtain a mind flayer's head. Oh. Dead well. goblins. Dead travelers. 
Were they heading to the druid's throat? It looks like people had fun here. Alright, so first off, loot them. Thief souls, disarm, nice. We need that. Send this to Gale. Send this to Gale. Add that to where else? A lot of camp supplies, that's good. Alright. Goblin drawings. Let's read this. Drawing in thick charcoal lines upon an animal skin, the childlike portrait depicts three stick figures. A goblin with sparks in its hands, a square humanoid figure, and what seems to be an elf, each of them is wearing a simple crown. What? Alright, so this, this episode is already confusing me a lot, which I like. Now, which do I want to talk about with? I'm curious what the, the drawing goblin. So, you know what? We'll just do a quick save here. And we're just gonna go and speak with them. Well, that's just simply rude. I really wanted to talk to you. Well, guess not then. Uh, let's see. So, there is... I'm not gonna go inside the village just yet. Strange. Like sanguine the it boar. Looks healthy, but it's stone dead. Dead boar. But it doesn't look like it's been touched by scavengers. Let's examine it. Quick guidance, there we go. Carcass seems to be fresh, only a few hours dead. You notice two small puncture wounds in its neck. Looking closer, you can see the skin around its face is desiccated. It's been completely drained of blood. Vampires. Vampires. All right, so grab this. Grab this. And grab the mugwort. Alrighty. Let's see. Where are we going? Okay, so we're going down here. Some Maragross. Alright, so I gonna assume that this is the Albert cave. So if we go like here, then I think we looped around. We're gonna add them to where's Wispweed, of course. More recipes, yes. Alright, so... Yeah, going up here makes makes us go there. Yeah, let's see where this leads. Can we... Not enough space, that's a shame. Well, we climb, can climb up there. Uh, but we can also go and enter the cave. Let's see. Mm, to go still. All right, All right. So, what now? lay on hands charge once per long rest. Okay. So I used all my lay on hands charges already. Did not know that. What's next? I wonder. Can you be so kind as to do a quick wheeling word on Lysel? I don't know. Take you. Don't really want to, but there we go. I've got a long road ahead. Owl bear tracks. Its nest must be nearby. Let's just go and enter. Have to keep going. An eviscerated goblin. Okay. That's no good. Stench. Dead Albert prey, no doubt. Let's see. What is this? It looks so pretty. 
It is stinking cave. Hardly a place of honor. The war between Saloon and Shar. Okay. Let's grab all this. Scroll with that thoughts. Uh, let's see. Read. An ancient tome detailing how Saloon came into being along with her sister Shar. The silver radiant Saloon and the dark alluring Shar complemented each other and brought an an orderly distinction between light and dark in the universe. Okay. Uh, let's do a quick save. And let's see if we can open this. Well, the answer is... Yield its contents easily. The answer is no. I can't open it right now. Can I get to the other side, though? Because this sure as hell looks like I can jump over. Quick perception. That's curious. What's curious? A saloon prayer sheet. A prayer dedicated to saloon imploring all the accepted moon maiden blessings and share in her bounty. A prayer sheet. What's this symbol on it? I'm gonna pick it up. The Genesis of Saloon and Shar. A dusty volume that speaks of the conflict between the sibling goddesses Saloon and Shar of the Saloon ignited the sun and brought life sustaining light and warmth to the universe. Well, that's one could consider that a dick move. Alright. Can it be that I now. Am I able now to open the chest? Now I've seen. Like that symbol or something. The answer is still no. That actually hurt like hell. So we're not gonna... I do not have Dispel Magic, do I? If someone would have Dispel Magic... Do you have Dispel Magic? I don't think so yet. No. Not yet prepared. Okay, that's good. Uh, you know what? We'll do a quick... There we go. Despite we'll just do everything. a quick. Uh, Wonder if the gods are watching me. Quick rest. You feel the oh, quake shit. of its heavy footsteps before you see it. An owl bear, its beaked face looming out of the darkness. All right. All right. So puff out your chest and roar. We're gonna intimidate the living shit out of this Albear. Or it was a mating call. Could be the case as well. It is performance the after all. Shrinks back, feathers quivering. All right. I'm gonna do a quick save because I'm kind of scared. Oh, wait, what? Oh, well, no. I don't want this. Why would you do this to me? Game, oh, well, you know what? If it's got to be, then it's got to be. I'm gonna set fire to this all there. And it's Gob, I'm afraid. We enter that and quickly Next. climb up here. Now we are at least out of sort of melee range, I think. Slyzel's turn. Let's, as a bonus action, come target itself. Well, that sucks. Run up. And, well, just we're gonna attack this poor cub. Maybe Mother gets really angry, but, you know, I can understand that. We're still gonna hit it, though. We are terrible. And turn. Right, so, you walk up. Let's give... <laughs> Do we want another spiritual weapon? Another image. Let's see. Yeah, we're gonna summon a... Ooh, wait. Examine. Distressed. 
no resistances so it doesn't really matter then we're just gonna go with a great axe and we're just gonna summon that right there and besides that we are also going to hmm, cast bless on Lysel, lord ganar and gale there we go so this concentration uh, guidance is cancelled that's fine spiritual weapon you attack good and that's the end of everyone's turn right now now the owlbear oh boy 12 well ouch I can cure wounds. I'm not gonna do that. Sacred weapon, yes. That is an action, okay. And let's... Uh, Celestial Fiends and Undead. I'm gonna assume this is a beast. Yeah, so that's not gonna work. You know what? I'm gonna compel you to duel me. But you save. Okay, sure. Sure. Flaming Swear. You just hit the, the puppy. And now it's frightened as well. Aww. I feel so terrible. Sorry, little one. Lysel, how about you. Second wind. To get some nice healing. And then we do an action surge. Lacerate. Stupid little shit. Alright, so lacerate didn't work. And we'll just attack you again. There we go. And that's just that we'll have to do. Let's see, are you concentrating? You are already concentrating on the sphere, so which bolt will not suffice right now. We will do a... Let's just throw a magic missile in here. There we go. Alright, so it's saved against something, I don't know what. Turn. Spiritual weapon. Whoa. Alright. That's the end of their turn. Uh, you are concentrating on the spiritual weapon, I'm assuming. Are you concentrating on anything? No, you're concentrating on bless. Yeah, that's that's right. Guiding bolts. Let's do a level two guiding bolt. 17 damage, sweet. Owlbear Rage. Oh, oh, oh. Oh boy. Well, I can't really blame you for being mad. Whew, okay. All right, so Owlbear Rage, examine. Owlbear Rage, the Owlbear is Rage Strength increased by two. Okay, the next advantage, advantage, and it's distress. The elbow has sustained damage to its eye. It cannot make critical hit and has disadvantage on perception checks. Oh, all right. Well, you know, I do actually really want to hit you, so I am going to. That's not a lot of damage, but okay. It'll have to do. And can I throw something? No, I can't. Can't throw a healing potion at Lysel, so that's that. Sure. Run, little guy. I only want to attack your mother right now. There we go. Uh, does it. Oh, it's toast. Well, yikes, yikes. All right. Uh, okay. Bonk. 
pommel strike to daze it as well. Gil, how about you make sure that it's going to die? There we have it. So I feel like a terrible person right now. I feel absolutely terrible. Sorry, uh, that is a head of a broken spear. Okay. Very well. An owlbear egg. An owlbear egg. These are supposed to be worth a fortune. If I don't get my beauty sleep soon, I may just get a tad malcontent. The Oak Father's Embrace. Order of Nature. Undead creatures that hit the wearer receive 1d6 uh, radiant damage. Beasts that hit the wearer deal an additional 1d6 radiant damage. Okay. Let's see. So it's medium armor. It's an AC of 13. Uh, plus 2 if your dex is high enough. So it's not something that anyone would use. Well, one could say that that was not how I planned doing this. Because I did not really want to kill the owlbear. It's like lurking in its cave, minding its own business. And here I am. Strutting around actually murdering it and its pup. Well, let's say it's a good thing that I did not let them live. But, or let one of them live. Because they would be very mad, I assume. We can go up here. Sweet. All right. But that felt bad. Uh, but we're not gonna like change the outcome. Just, yeah. I thought by roaring that they would just stay away. That they would be afraid or something. One could say they were not. All right, so where is this leading? Is there something we can dig maybe? Nice perception check. No, no perception check. Then we climb this. Um, all right, so he is tapped. She still has channel divinity. Yeah, we could have invoked duplicity there as well. Elminster's not around. So uh, you know what? what? You use this to get. How about you just. Yeah, you take two level one spell slots. So he's pretty doing still pretty good. She has a lot of superiority dice as well. Um, that she can use. You know what? Here, take you take this, and you can tank all you want. Can she like? Oh wait, it's for only five turns, so it's it's a waste using it like this. Okay, well that's good. Don't give up now. Um, furthermore, yeah, get John, get Yankee, Psionic Jump is also. Yeah, won't stop me yet. Not a chance. I'll fit in there. All right, so there's not a chance that I fit in here. But if I do this and I turn myself into a female gnome, now I'm small. I fit. That's curious. That's not how this spell is supposed to work. I heard growling. There is a scrawny bugbear up there. Where am I? This is actually also a way to get into that cave. Like the cave is down here. Okay. I saw uh, you guys can group. Uh, Proceeding. yeah, just move back here, jump over. And let's go out of the cave and, and regroup again. But that was actually funny. It says polymorphed. Appearance is entirely changed. Yeah. But I guess polymorph shouldn't actually work. And I'm considering 
I'm considering taking a long rest, but consider me intrigued. We can go a little further yet. All right, so toggle group mode. No one back home will ever believe this. If not over, then through. Multiple long rest, channel oath still gives us all right. You have a particular yeah. way with words, Gail. Perhaps oration suits you. They're not mutually exclusive. The weave is served best with a dash of eloquence. Ooh, all right, fish, fish. Let's take a fishing rod as well. I don't know if we can use it, but. A bucket of fish, more camp supplies, always good. It's like, I think I need to be somewhere around here, right? Oh, wait, it's a little bit further. That's like... It's funny banter between the two of them. I like it. There's quick save. I have a potion of animal speaking. Can I make some more potions already? All right, yes, I can. Potion of mind reading. All right, a greater healing potion. All right, let's see which elixirs I can make. Elixirs of fire resistance, also quite nice. Salts, mugwort. No, oh, wait, salts. Can I? Alchemist fire, coatings, oil of ac accuracy, accuracy, rogue morsel. Can make that as well. An antidote. You know what? We're gonna craft a potion of mind reading. That if next time we come into town, then we can actually use that. All right. Um, so this guy, I'm gonna recast speak with Dan on him. Hopefully the dog doesn't bite. corpse regards you lifelessly what happened to you north claws teeth who are you where are you from Why were you in the forest? This delivery to Baldur's Gate. Okay. Where did you keep the letters? Bank. Standard. Issue. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Okay. Curious. Let's see. Gil got inspired. Gil's glean some wisdom from speaking with the dead. Okay. All right. So, hmm. I'm gonna dispel my disguise. There we have it. I prefer to be myself. Um, I can't loot the body, and I think it will trigger like the dog which I do not really want to trigger because I just killed an animal already hmm. let's talk to the dog yeah poor boy reach out to pet him all right so you're gonna be I'm going to intimidate you to stand down. You just listen to me. All right. 
so he's most definitely gonna stand now. Take a closer look Around at him. Around his neck is a collar etched with a name. Scratch. You are all right, Scratch? With a deep, heartbroken whine, the dog bows his head. Aww. I'm gonna pet him. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Come on, Scratch, follow me. He whines, but remains rooted by the corpse's side. Hold out your hand so he can follow your scent to camp. <laughs> yes, you're a good boy. You better come to camp with me. Wait, that would be so fucking cool. If I go to camp now, would he be there? Alright, we'll figure that out later. But that would be so fucking cool. 